All right, we're up to exercise five. This is obviously a line work exercise, um, but there's a couple of new things here. This one is a border drawing, so we have an actual border that we need to insert. So we're taking a template for that one. That is on the meter site, so just under the uh, border code exercises. A4 border sheet template, the name is A4 sheet dot CWT, which is a drawing template in the other This is just a drawing file, but it's a template. Um, and so it's like an empty drawing that you're going to start your drawing in. So that's the way you normally do it. And that's what that's normally done in the industry. You have a sheet and you uh, start drawing on the piece of the sheet. Uh, this is not the 370 T7 you had before because that's too big for an A4, so it's going to be smaller. Now that sheet you download off the website, off middle here. Just right click on that and uh, save link as any on the driver. And you put in a place uh, where you can pick it up uh, in AutoCAD. So here we are in AutoCAD and then and found that file. And it should just open like that. Now you notice that bottom corner is not a 0, 0. In fact, the dimensions on that bottom corner is 10, 10. So the 0, 0 is down here. So uh, at least the border of the actual sheet is starting at 0, 0. <coughs> and the, uh, this border around the sheet is 10 millimeters again. Uh, and there's text in here that uh, hasn't been filled in. Um, you can put your date and the um, right jazz in there. Uh, and you're ready to go. The only other cut in this drawing is it doesn't look like this dimension is correct. We have the start point of this first circle says we're 40, 30. That doesn't work. It's more like about 80, 90, or maybe 95. So um, just change that to 80, 90. And that's it. So we're going to start the drawing off with that first circle, bottom left hand corner, 30 diameter, and it's going up to, um, it's going up to uh, diameter 30. So, here we go, starting a circle now. Um, don't forget when we're, when we're writing dimensions, uh, we're writing them from absolute first, from the zero, zero. So I said, if you do circle at about 80 to 90, uh, that's about there. And then the diameter, it's 30 now. You notice the default for AutoCAD is radius, not diameter. So if you did want to put that diameter in, you can right click and click diameter. Now it's set as a diameter instead of a radius. There's my first circle. All right, now the next one is, we're going to do, um, you go 50 up and draw this next circle, which is 40 diameter. So 50, and there is a straight line from there up to 50 now. So so pick line. You get a, to, to pick up the center of the circle, it's not picking up until you hover over the edge, the actual circle line, and when you hover, that causes the origin to pop up. Now I can click it. And we're going to pick it up. Now vertical lines are easy because the mouse will click to vertical. You can just type 50 and hit enter. You don't need to put an angle in. All right, that's our first one. Then we have a circle there of 40 diameter. So you'll notice that that can radius is going to the right click and hit diameter. There's a diameter circle, 40 enter. Or I could have typed 20. So. Right, now the next one is a bit trickier. We have a line here that has an X dimension of 80, but a Y dimension of 10. Right, so it's going to go 80 along the X and then 10 along the Y. Now, we could do that the seat way, which would be just do 80 along the horizontal and up. There it is. So if I go back there, I did it up. But can I do it in one step? Yes, I can. I'm doing an incremental um, nine this time. Incremental nine. Now that's actually on the on the meter side as well. If you get on the bottom, we've got some help here. But the very first help there is how to input points using incremental absolute. We discussed that video. There's five different ways you can put an input in there. We already know dynamic if you've been doing it and absolute the first two. So there's some other ones there uh, which will give some help. And uh, to do that, you need to be using the um, command line. All right, so there's my command line down here. By the way, command line is not showing. Uh, you can just do control nine, and that will turn it off. So if it's not showing like this, hit Control 9 and it turns it back on. 
All right, so I'm trying to do line. I'm going to click line. Notice command line down the bottom. What you're saying line, specify the first point. The first point is there. Click it. Now, the next point. Now, if I go down, see, if I use my mouse, I'm doing the dynamic input, which is polar length and angle, but it's not length and angle here. It's X and Y. So I don't want to do this polar thing. So you come down here and you type add. That means incremental 80, 10. Enter. Right, so what that's done is it made 80 in length, let me just double check that, the dimension here is 80, yes it is, and the vertical dimension is 10. What I want it. Alright, now we a circle for this one, which is diameter 40. It's exactly the same as that, so I'm going to make it. So I'm going to copy this circle and put it over there and make a copy of it. How do I do that? We also highlight the circle just by doing a, there's a couple of ways I can highlight. So if I'm going to click the circle, the circle is blue with the handle. So little blue boxes are called handles. So um, that means it's active. I could also make it active by doing a selection box. So it's one click of the mouse, move the mouse, click again. So anything that crosses the green selection box is chosen. Or I could use the blue selection box. Anything inside the blue selection box is chosen. So it's three different ways I can select that circle. All right, and then I go shift right click, and I'm going to do a select. Just right click the right click, copy selection, copy selection from the middle to the end. Right, there's the same circle, same diameter, and it's going to copy that into there. Right, now we have uh, 60 millimeters up to the 20 diameter circle. So we have 60 millimeters up from here. And the circle this time has diameter 20, which is radius 10. I couldn't have bothered putting down there. There we go. One more line to finish that off. And that's all of our simple lines. Now, the next part is that we have to um, do some. Let's do all those lines around the outside which are tangent lines. Okay, so it's tangent on one, tangent on the other. Let's have a look at the tangent line. Let's just start this tangent line over this side. Now, I'm going to draw a line and I've got to pick up the tangent here. Now, it doesn't know how to pick up the tangent. I have to go shift right button, that inline snap menu, and I'm looking for a tangent there. Now, I have to pick a point reasonably close to the tangent. If I pick a point way over here, it's going, to, it's going to do funny things. So I'm expecting a tangent to be around here somewhere. So make sure you pick something reasonably close to where you're expecting. And once again, the tangent on this side as well. So shift right to tangent somewhere in the vicinity. Maybe I'll go a little bit off just on purpose so you can click into the So I'll click off and it's flipped itself up to the correct tangent position. So that's Line and specify tangent. So we can do that all around. Just right click tangent. Now, what's what happens if I click the wrong area? So I'll shift, shift right click tangent again. That's easy. Now, if I'm trying to get a tangent here, what happens if I get a wrong point? Tangent. If I tangent say right well, here somewhere, See what it's done? It's, it's thought, oh, you want to tangent this side of the circle. So that's why you have to click somewhere in the vicinity of where you're expecting it to land, because you know, there's two options. You could tangent this side or this side. So what if that needs to know which side of the circle you're talking about? And we've got one more tangent. Line. Now, um, let me, let's do these two uh, intersecting lines to here. And those two, so center that to there, center that to there. So from the center, which is very easy to pick up. In fact, the center can be picked up as an intersection of two lines or as a circle center. Circle center have a circle around them. See how it works. And I'm trying to tangent to here, zoom in a bit. 
with right quick turns on this one, as you can lots of tangents, and you've got to be somewhere close to it. I mean, you could go a bit off, like they do, still work, but you can't go to those five and you'll just flip. And then, there. Right, now, the reason I did those two is because I need to draw a line from here to the center point on this line. Okay, now, the center point is another special point. And that will also be in that online menu. In my menu. So intersection is already on. I already had a snap set for intersection. If it wasn't, I could go shift, right click, and say intersection to make sure I pick up that intersection. So there's nothing to stop me doing that. I'm allowed to do that any time I want. Now, if I go over to this line, you'll notice it's doing a horizontal. Well, it's not the middle point. That snaps the horizontal that because uh, it's got a horizontal. References and now it's close to the horizontal, it goes up, you mean horizontal. I want midpoint here, so shift and look for midpoint. Right now I'm looking for the midpoint, you notice it's a different symbol, it's not horizontal, it's got little triangle. Even if I miss it, if the green if the green symbol is on and I click, it'll go to that green symbol. Right, so that is uh, the middle of that. So those those two pieces of line are exactly halfway. Um, to the middle of that line. All right, now we're taking um, from there to the tangent to the other one. Tangent, we're going up to tangent here. And a couple of lines left to go. Another tangent from here and here. So these two are doing other tangents. By the way, that repeat line, I can just right click and repeat line and repeat the last command. So instead of going all the way back to this uh, line again, I can just repeat line. Or I can just type L for line. And then the command box for L for line, and now should unsign the line. <coughs> and then again. And I think we're about done. Now we're still on that here because this line from that intersection point is now doing a perpendicular. That's using plenty of these command snap menu commands. Taking up that intersection point, it should be automatic. Now I need to do a perpendicular. Now that is not perpendicular, that's vertical. Perpendicular to this line. We want 90 degrees between this line and this line. So how do I do that? Shift, right click. Perpendicular. When the perpendicular symbol comes up, you see that little green symbol. When that's up, if you click, it'll go straight to it. And that's it. That's the end of the line work right there. The few matrix is so on. It's just fairly simple. And the picky picking over here. Now, just before I put the mentions on here, I'm going to show you um, another thing that you may start to introduce now. I've had mainly from uh, the next one onwards, but we're going to look at being layers. So at the moment, this drawing has um, some layers that have already been set up in the template. Now that's nice because the fact that you pull that template in also brought in all these different layers. And you notice that there's a layer here for dimension. So I've been drawing in a dimension called uh, in a layer called outline. I haven't even looked at it. So it's um, layer for in my drawing as I started drawing. Now, before I put dimension done, I'm going to fix my layer to the dimension. So I just double click on dimension, it's now green. And so if I start drawing, I draw green lines because I'm on a different layer now. So if I fix to the dimension layer before I start dimension, then it will automatically. Um, the normal dimension. If you didn't do that, you can actually come back later and change it so we'll do that in a sec. Alright, my first one is a 50 mil vertical dimension to here. Looking good. And then right click repeat. This is 80 from that layer. You can see why it's nice to do your dimension in another colour because they don't get mixed up with the rest of the drawing. 
kalau tidak dapat hot dan sikri Now we have to do some of our circles. Now the circle um, dimensions are the diameter. And uh, the sun, so that's a look up in here. The different types of dimensions, we've got radius or diameter, which is diameter. That's the circle. And just place it where you like. Let's see it down. It's only a stone diameter. It's quite quick. Picking up these different diameters. Just right click to repeat. The last command is what they are going to mention. Alright, now the only thing we have left is um, well, we've got those two equal ones, and the last, let's do this 90 degree angle here, which is um, an angle dimension now. So the dimension thing and see what we have. We've got linear aligned angular, so that's the one we want to take on there. <coughs> so angular between that and that. 90 degrees. I could get our uh, dimension a little bit bigger than there, so we could have shrink our dimension to scale down a little bit, but uh, we we'll get away with that. And this last dimension here <coughs> is uh, a bit more interesting. This is an aligned dimension, so it needs to go from our end of that line to that intersection point, so this one, and then there'll be another one here. But what you'll notice here is that He's giving us a number, isn't it? Because that's what the supposed to be. That's the number. It should be the same number, so let's just use those numbers to double check. Yes, it is 29.58, but it's not where it says in the drawing, it says equal sign. So we're going to override this dimension. So we can right click and just go. So what I'm doing is I'm Double click that dimension as that brings up the dimension itself, highlighted on the top of equal sign, and that's it. So basically, you're raising the number and uh, just putting the symbol in. That's it for this drawing, I think. Yep. Done. Now, you could um, just add your name and date down in here, you can see that little text, but we won't do that in this drawing. This is not yet a proper drawing, that will be the next one. That's it for drawing exercise number five. Mm -hmm.